at some point in time we've all printed graphs. And at some point in time we've all had trouble separating our model from the graphs, giving you something what you see in front of you. So today I'm going to share some graph settings with you guys that's going to help you separate your models from the graphs super easy and leaving you with a nice clean finish. Now before we get started, I want to give credit where it's due guys. All the information I'm going to share with you guys today, I actually got from this gentleman named Chuck over at Filament Friday. He has his own channel. I'll go and put a link down, a link to that in the description down below. Check out some of his videos. He has really cool tips and tricks about Cura and 3D printing in general. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into Cura. And once you jump into Cura, what you want to do is go to Build Plate Adhesion and from the type you want to select raft once you do that you'll see all these settings that pop up under mine now if it doesn't show up on yours not a big deal guys go and click on this little gyro here and then you can check off all these settings that i have i'll just scroll down on these a little bit slower so you guys can take a look so the first thing we're going to do is look at raft air gap and this is basically the gap between the raft and your model uh, leaving a gap between your raft and the model actually helps you peel it off a little bit easier without having the model sticking to the raft. So the number that he used, which worked for me, and I'll show you in the print down the line, is 0.2. Uh, so make sure you change it to that. And then the next one we're going to do is top layer thickness. Uh, this normally you would set it to what your layer height is. So right here, 0.12 works, but you can also change it to a 2. Uh, or 0.2 sorry, uh, but I noticed that a 0.12 works either way and then the next one we're going to do is the middle thickness uh, go ahead and change that to a 0.16 and once you do all of these guys we're going to go ahead and import a model and go ahead and get it printed once you have the model imported you'll notice here uh, when I go into layer view right up here is that this is your raft, that's your model this is the gap or the air gap that we were talking about right here so this is what you want to see on your layer view. So once we have that going, we're going to go ahead and get this printed. And once it's printed, I'll show you what the results are. So here's the model that I printed. Uh, I printed a few small pieces, but before we get started, I just want to let you guys know, I was going to edit this out, but I decided to leave it uh, because it shows a failed print. Uh, for all you newcomers to 3D printing industry, failed prints are something that's just part of the community. So don't ever get discouraged because you had failed prints. Now, continuing with the video, if you see how easily that just popped off right there, and if you notice the bottom of the model, it's smooth. I mean, it's glass smooth, like you printed it without a raft at all. And it's very easy to take off. If you notice this one right here, I'm not using any tools whatsoever. Everything is done by hand, and I'm just popping them right off, one after the other. So I would say these settings work really well. I have printed them on the Creality CR10, the 10S, TiVo Tornado. Uh, now, when I did get to the Alpha YZU30, I did have to change the settings a little bit. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't just pop right off. But if you notice the prints here, I mean, I'm just pulling them off one by one. There's a little bit of residue from the raft itself, but I later took those off with just a pair of pliers. Now, after everything was done, I wanted to show how easy it was. Even the failed prints, I mean, they're just popping right off like little strawberries from a tree. So these settings work very well as far as popping models off the raft. That, as you can see, had no problem. But what about the quality of the print? So if you notice right here, this part was attached to the raft. It came out very smooth. If you look at these two pieces here, uh, I mean, it's like they were printed on glass. I mean, I don't have any problem with it. So. This was a success. Uh, go ahead and try it out for yourself, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did it work for you? Didn't? Did you have to tweak some things around? Is there some settings that are better? Let's go and share it with the community. Let's all grow together. With that said, this brings us to the end of our video, guys. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. We've got a lot of useful tips and tricks as far as 3D printing is concerned. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. You know I get back to every single one of you guys. Uh, if you want to support the channel, there's some links down there as below. And once again, thank you, Chuck, at Filament Friday. And we will see you all next time.